Dear Jesus Freak, For quite a while I have stayed out of the pool of drama circulating among certain YouTube users, namely yourself, Amazing Atheist, Venom Fang X, and Thunderfoot. But I believe that since you have attacked something that I love, that being video games, it's time for me to dip my toes into the shallow end and possibly venture out further. Why did I wait so long since you posted your attack on Grand Theft Auto 4? Well, I didn't want my response to be swept under the rug along with so many other responses made to that particular video. So here I am, and I have some points of my own that need to be discussed. But before I jump straight into that, let me first say that I do admire your constant loyalty to your subscribers and your defense of your videos. I think it takes a lot of balls to stand up to some truly harsh criticisms, but that does not mean for a second that I agree with them. And if you actually do take the time to watch this video and think of what I put forward, I'd be very willing to debate with you. Now onto the main point of this video. First off, let me say that GTA 4 is rated M for Mature by the ESRB, and thus anyone under the age of 17 is restricted from playing it. So it's not aimed or supposed to be in the hands of children or teenagers under that age, which seems to be one major complaint that you have. Also, Grand Theft Auto 3 was not the previous game, San Andreas was. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. You talk about the nature of violence in the video games that you allow your son to play, and seem to have a problem stemming from having a quote-unquote bad guy as the protagonist, and herein lies my first problem. Having a bad character as a protagonist in a story does not immediately make the game bad or immoral. One must look at the implementation of how the character's bad qualities are used to progress a story, if at all. And through playing the story, you will soon learn that Nico, who is the protagonist, is not as bad as you might initially believe. Through playing the game, you start to understand that he does have a conscience, and it does affect him, particularly through certain missions that revolve around killing people. One springs to mind in which you have a choice to kill a certain character, or you can let that character live. Either choice has certain results on Nico. I urge you to actually learn about the story of the game, and you'll see that it is actually better and more entertaining than the majority of action flicks that Hollywood shits out each year and it's considerably better and more cinematic than most video game stories available now. On to the sexual aspects of the game. While sex is not a major part of the story at all, there are indeed certain sexual aspects that are more implied than actually shown, never mind being at all interactive. And it is a far stretch to consider this at all graphic. If you're referring to the strip club cutscenes, then this is nothing that cannot be seen in any R movie. As for the prostitution aspect, Yes, there are prostitutes who you can pick up and have sex with, but again, there is no actual sexual cutscenes involved. Nor are there any girls that you can date that have any sexual cutscenes. As for killing police officers and unarmed civilians, this is not a direct part of the game, as in it is not a direct part of the storytelling, but there are actions that can be taken against civilians and police that are violent, but doing this will turn the game against you. There is no action without reaction. Also, your comments regarding Nico trying to gain respect and notoriety through the game is incorrect. The aim of the storyline is to find those guilty of killing your comrades in your home country, not to gain respect amongst criminals. As for your ideas that Store should be punished, etc., etc., I do believe that it is an entirely different conversation, and if you'd like to make another video about your idea of censorship, I'm sure we have different views, and that would indeed be an interesting argument. Lastly, I would like to say this. You say that we run the risk of becoming a vulgar society with media like this, but I ask you to look around. We are a vulgar society by your standards, and you two are adding to the pollution. Sincerely, The Irish Rabbit